Hey guys, I'm Dan from Ishimoto. Today I'm going to show you how to install our new direct fit intercooler for this 2005 Ford F-250. Let's check it out. Tools needed to install the Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Intercooler into the 2003 to 2007 Ford F-250 are 13 millimeter wrench, long flathead screwdriver, short flathead screwdriver, linesman pliers, pop clip tool, ratchet, extension, 9 32nd socket, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 11 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, and a pick tool. Installation time is about three hours and is a three out of five on the difficulty level. First, you're going to want to disconnect the negative battery terminal. Next step, you're going to remove your factory intake box. Uh, this current vehicle is equipped with an aftermarket, so just follow the standard process of how to remove your factory intake box. Next, disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Okay, next, go ahead and remove the nine pop clips that hold the upper shroud to the radiator support and grill. Next, remove the four 8mm bolts that hold the radiator stays to the radiator support. Next, remove the two 10mm bolts that hold the upper inner cooler mounts to the radiator support. Next, undo the wire harness that goes across the radiator support by removing the three pop clips. Next, remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the AC condenser stays to the radiator support. Next, remove the four pop clips that hold the ducting flaps onto the radiator support. In order to get the intercooler out, we're going to need to loosen the intercooler pipe clamps. Next, remove the radiator support beam by removing the eight 13 millimeter bolts. There are four on each side. Once you've removed the eight 13 millimeter bolts, Go ahead and remove the upper radiator support. To do this, you're gonna use a screwdriver, push the brace over to one side, and then pull up. Once you have the radiator support out of the way, you can remove the intercooler. Before we put the Mishimoto intercooler in, we'll have to transfer the rubber mounting grommets from the top of the stock intercooler. Next, you'll want to transfer the lower rubber mounting grommets from the side of the stock intercooler to the Mishimoto intercooler. Once the mounting grommets have been transferred over, you can place the Mishimoto intercooler into your truck. Next, to reinstall the radiator support.
Once you have the rad support placed back into the upper frame, go ahead and start loosely installing the eight 13 millimeter bolts. You'll see some wear marks from where the bolts have been and uh, where there's no spray paint underneath. So you're just gonna want to, when you get the bolts in loosely, move the radiator support around until all the bolts line up. Next, we install the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the inner cooler to the radiator support. Next, reinstall the AC condenser brackets. Once you have the wire harness back in place, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the radiator stays. Next, reinstall the four pop clips that hold the rubber gaskets to the radiator support. Next, reinstall the upper shroud. Next, install the lower hot side pipe boot onto the inner core. Next, reconnect the mass airflow sensor. Next, reinstall your intake box. Next, start the truck and turn the heat on high. Also, be sure to check the pipe connections, and make sure that there's no leaks. All right, guys, go out and take it for a spin and enjoy your new Mishimoto products.